everybody, um, excuse my low maintenance look, I was just kind of really lazy today and I just literally threw in some mascara and some gloss and I'm going to be reviewing all of that today in separate videos, so check them all out. Let's start with the Maybelline Color Elixirs that are brand spanking new and I was really so skeptical about them that I only got three. I only got my three favorite shades. Now you know me. If I have faith in something, I'll go and buy them all. Or I'll buy one. But I bought three. I got three from the store, from Walmart, in Plattsburgh, upstate New York. And um, first let's talk about the packaging. Um, I'm wearing the pink one right now, and I love it. Like, I'm so in love with it. I want to get all of them. But there's a few eh, that we got to talk about. First of all, um, I didn't notice it when I bought it, but I noticed it when I got it home. The lip gloss is shaped like a lipstick, which I think is totally unique. So when you display these on your dresser or wherever you want to display them, it's like displaying three lipsticks. That's really cool. Now, um, I'm hearing that these are retailing for like ten fifty. I got mine for about $5.50 or $6 at Walmart. Um, I know a lot of you don't live near Walmart, or maybe a lot of you do. I don't live near Walmart, so it was like a pleasure trip to actually pay a cheap amount for um, cosmetics in the drugstore for once. But um, if you, these are not worth $10, I could say that. But if you can find them for under $10, like around $7, they're absolutely worth it. And I'm going to tell you why. Um, some of you were saying that the scent was super, super overpowering. Um, when you have the tube up to your nose, or you have the wand up to your nose, it's really a strong, kind of like, confectionery scent. Wasn't too much of a fan of it. But once it's on your lips and you let it there, you don't really smell it as much. In fact, I don't even smell it at all right now. So, um, I don't know if that was the issue. Like, maybe at first it was just too strong and you gotta get used to it. But do you really, should you have to get used to a product if you're paying $10 for it? Oh, uh, it's a little, it's in a gray area. It's a personal preference gray area. In terms of color pigmentation, whoa, okay, whoa. I was paying $10 for the long ones that had the silver top, like really long, the ones that look like this. Hold on. I was paying $10, almost $10 for these. They were like $8.75, $8 $8.95. So, and while I love them, I can rave about these from now until next week, they're nowhere near as pigmented as these. They're great pigmentation for a drugstore, and I thought, oh, it can't get any better. Oh, it can, and it did. So, um, let's, let me swatch these up for you, because like I said, I only got three, I only got my three favorite shades, because I didn't want to risk getting a whole bunch and not loving it. Um, so I'm wearing Fuchsia Flourish on my lips today. And I'm going to have, and I love that I didn't have to cake it on, layer it on, and get those, how do I say this without, you know what, I'm just going to say it, and anybody who um, feels like I'm being too vulgar, I apologize, but they didn't give you the whole jizz lip, which some lip glosses do, again, I'm sorry if I offended anybody, but... Oh, it's just so unattractive to have lips like that. Anyway, um, in my personal opinion, if you like that, then go ahead, you go for it. But I personally don't like that, and I know a lot of people don't like that. So I like that I didn't have to layer it on and have that super, like, glazed donut lip. Like, I can have a lip that's shiny, but not like I just ate a whole bunch of burgers and a donut shiny. Get it? Less vulgar? Yay. Um... So let me swatch this on my hand for you, and I'm going to have lip swatches too at the end. And I literally, when I did it on my mouth, I went like that. And you could see how pigmented it is. Now, I'm doing this. No streaking, no bleeding, no feathering. Always a plus. So that's pretty opaque. I mean, this you don't even have to put this over liner. I'm not wearing mine over primer, liner, nothing. You do not have to put these on over anything. You could literally throw this in your purse and put it on. My look today is so low maintenance because of this product. Like, literally, I got this on and some mascara. Um, and then we have the products. So um, let's talk about the next color. Uh, I love my purples. I really do. And this one's called Vision and Violet, and Maybelline, I feel like, has been at the head of the game when it's come to purple cosmetics entering the drugstore realm. And for that, they get my ultimate thumbs up. So, 
Here we go. When I saw it on here, I was like, there's no way that it's going to look like that on the lips. This looks like liquid heroin, and I don't mean the drug, I mean the MAC lipstick. So... It literally, I mean, it looks streaky in my hand, but I assure you it's not on the lips. It is like a liquid heroin. It's like liquid MAC heroin. It's so good. I can't wait to show you guys this one on the lips. Like, it's just so good. It is so good. And then last but not least, we have um, Mandarin Rapture. And I feel like this would really look good with Vibrant Mandarin from the Vivids collection. Um, this one surprised me. When I looked at it in the tube, I couldn't tell. Like, these don't have any shimmer in it, but this one does. And I, really, I couldn't tell that initially. But then when I applied it to my lips, by the way, all oranges look red on me. So if in my swatches my lips look red, it's just me. This might look way more orange on you. It's got a slight shimmer in it. I don't think you can see it here, but um, on the lips, it has just a slight, slight shimmer, and it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. So you can find these in drugstores, at Walmart, at Target, and like I said, they range anywhere from like $5.50 to $10. Are they worth it at $10? No. But around the $7 range, the $6 range, absolutely. I mean, I'm, I'm blown away. I feel like I just colored my hand with crayons, and I love that whole bright bold lip look they have some more subdued colors so fear not they're not all like this but um these are the ones that are my favorite and i had to get them so um check them out uh i'll post my swatches at the end of this video i'll have these swatches on my instagram as well please follow me i'm recycled stratus and thank you so much for watching